Hello, my name is Tala. I'm a laboratory technician at Mechanical Engineering Department and this is video instruction for arm filled shell and two kit exchanger. This equipment is capable of producing temperature that could cause serious burns. During operation do not touch motor and hot water hoses. Ensure that system is cooled down before disconnecting any tubings. Always be cautious and don't let apparatus unattended while switched on. For installation you should connect cold water hose to water supply like this. You can use hose clamp and teflon tape to avoid leakages. Also you should put another cold water hose into suitable drain like this. Here we have hot water tank. It should be filled with clean demineralized water. Water should be touching this sensor. This is how wires should be connected. Green thermocouples should be connected in accordance with their number. In order to start equipment you should press main and check that stop button is released. When connection is correct, red and green indi light indicators on the interface are illuminated. First of all you should open shell and tube heat exchanger software, sell it co-current operator. If connection is uh, alright, IFD should be ok. Then you should press power on and green light should be illuminated. Then you should uh, select hot water flow, select manual one, and input something like 100%. After this, pump should be working. Then, after checking, you can put zero again. Here we have temperature readings for, from thermocouples T1 and T2 for hot water, T4 and T3 to cold water. In order to start cold water flow you should press here, you should type here 100 and also you should hear the work of pump. First of all you should open cold water supply and rotate this pressure regulator. You should see that uh, water is flowing through the system. After rotating pressure valve, your numbers for cold water flow should be like this. After this, make cold water flow equal zero without changing pressure valve and water supply. Now I'll show you how to perform exercise A. First of all, you should Select heater and put automatic and per, uh, per set point should be equal to 60. Then you should decrease cold water flow to something like uh, 10%. So the cold water flow would be equal to 1 liter per minute. Also you should make uh, hot water flow equal to 3 liters per minute and press automatic mode. You should hear that it works. After that, when temperature is uh, stabilized, you should make readings pressing this icon. After this, you should uh, proceed and make cold water flow equal to 2 min, uh, liters per minute. And again press this uh, go icon in order to make readings from sensors. After uh, all readings are made, you should press save and uh, be cautious because you need to save it as excel file press save and your data is saved when all 
needed data is saved, you can open it using Excel file and analyze it uh, for your lab reports. When you've done your experiment, make sure that uh, cold water flow is equal to zero, hot water flow is equal to zero, and heater is switched off. After this, you should press power on. In order to switch off equipment, you should just simply switch off mains and disconnect USB cable. Now some words about maintenance. If this equipment will not be used for some long time, you should uh, get rid of from all the water. First of all, open this black veil. Also you should disconnect all hoses like this. Also, once in a month, you should check this RCD button. This should be triggered. If not, then do not use this equipment. This is pretty much the end of video instruction. Thank you for watching.